People ask me, why did I become an estate planning attorney? Uh, I guess it goes back to when I grew up. We grew up in a two-family house where my grandparents were on the first floor and we were on the second floor. So we were very, very close. Um, and right after I graduated from law school and passed the bar, my grandfather died. And my grandmother, who had never balanced a check, never did anything with financing, needed a lot of help. She just had a house and some money, but not, not a lot, but she needed help. And I remember sitting down with her and I just passed the bar and sat, in, sat down with her, talked to her about, well, Graham, you know, how about budgeting? You know, this is what you do. And basically guiding her through the process that she had to go through. And I just saw the relief in her eyes and just saw how happy and satisfied she was. It was a big burden lifted off her. And I said, you know what? I like this. I wish I could do this for other people. And that I gradually gravitated towards estate planning because of that experience. And I remember my first case, and the first case I had, I did everything what, the, what law school had told me, drafted great documents, <clears throat> did everything the partners told me to do, you know, and I, I felt very, very good. But several years later, that client died. And when that client died, the plan didn't take care of the family like I took care of my grandmother way back. And I found that the plan was outdated. Nothing we had done wrong. I'd done everything right. In fact, I think we tried to contact the client saying, look, there's things that are outdated, please come back in, but they just didn't come in. And it was a real empty feeling. And I remember talking to some of the attorneys about it and said, well, it's their problem, not yours. They need to come in. And, and it just didn't sit right for me. And when I started my firm, I said, there has to be a way that we can actually take care of families in the estate planning context, not the way a lawyer wants them to be taken care of, but a way that the client needs to be, the family needs to be taken care of. It took me 10 years after begging, pleading, trying everything I could, education events, to have clients come back in to update their plans. Nothing worked. And then in January 1st, 2001, after hearing other attorneys talk about it, we decided to have a maintenance program where instead of just hiring the attorney to draft documents, you actually hire the attorney to create a plan for a family and actually maintain it afterwards no hourly billing, flat price, so you can have an actual relationship with a family so that they can come in when they want, have access. Clearly we need to be compensated because of the work we're doing, but it really was a win-win. And we've been doing it since 2001. And what we've done now is be able to take care of families when it really matters. And you know, our team is really tied into that. In fact, it's very, very difficult for someone to become part of our team because they have to have that value, not just making money, we're a business, clearly, but make sure that the families are taken care of. And uh, we're now bringing this out to other firms because we believe this is the way people plan. And I guess that's the way, that's the reason I became an estate planning attorney.